Notice from the Foundation Department of Miscommunications. There is information not present in this document. This is unintentional. Ellie Forkley, Director, Department of Miscommunications. Item number, Object Class. Special containment Procedures, SCP-4773-2 has been moved to a 4 meter by 4 meter by 4 meter containment cell. Size of chamber acts as a baseline for testing. See the number 1 for more information. At Site-96, for the purpose of testing containment team CT-4773 are to remain on standby during the initial preliminary analysis phase of containment, which is ongoing. Description SCP-4773-2 is a brown stuffed bear composed of synthetic fur and con. SCP-4773-2 will periodically levitate between 10 and 70 centimeters from the ground and move in irregular patterns. Objects, entities, and services near SCP-4773-2 may be wholly or partially imperceptible. This is considered normal behavior. Due to effects, it is suspected that the anomaly possesses some secondary mind-affecting effects. This has been conclusively disproved. Update. This is considered normal behavior. Update. See below. Tentative description. The following properties, which may or may not relate to circumstances surrounding SCP-4773-2, are currently unconfirmed. Reader discretion is advised. Mass, shape, etc. Baseline, normal physical properties. Movement, verified. Changes in environment, unspecified, verified. Removal of food. Triggering of unspecified subconscious instincts amongst personnel. Improper disposal of food waste, which was fully edible at the time by personnel. Fate unknown. Currently, three sandwiches, four packets of salted potato chips, and various assorted confectionery. Movement unverified. Mind affecting. Note, invoking emotions, sadness, pity. For what? It's difficult. Verified. An inability to properly cook. Stuff or unable. The existence of implications. Unclear? Addendum Testing Law On April 10th, 1996, a proposal for testing involving SCP-4773-2 intended to collect data on its anomalous visual effects was approved by Site-96 staff and conducted a week later. During this time, SCP-4772's containment cell was designated off-limits and personnel were advised to create an acceptable baseline by keeping interaction with related anomalies to a minimum. Also of note, SCP-4773-2's visual properties did not correspond to its location. For the test, the east-facing wall of SCP-4773-2's containment cell was lined with numbered square tiles, 25 centimeters in length, and observed via closed-circuit surveillance systems. Every hour, a researcher made note of which tiles they were unable to view, either partially or fully. SCP-4773-2's location can be ascertained from the placement of the red tile. Five hours into testing, procedures were halted as no conclusive evidence was able to be drawn. The data sets can be found below. Zero hours, zero minutes, zero seconds. SCP-4773-2 floats half a meter above the ground. No conclusive evidence is gained. One hour, SCP-4773-2 floats a quarter of a meter above the ground. No conclusive evidence is gained. Two hours, SCP-4773-2 is motionless on the ground. No conclusive evidence is gained. Three hours, SCP-4773-2 floats half a meter above the ground. No conclusive evidence is gained. Four hours, 
SCP-4773-2 is motionless on the ground. No conclusive evidence is gained. 5 hours. SCP-4773-2 is motionless on the ground. No conclusive evidence is gained. Testing concluded on April 18th, 1996. Nineteen ninety six April twenty third SCP forty seven seventy three has been identified as non anomalous and placed into storage. SCP forty seven seventy three one was located in its containment chamber alongside the object, deceased due to dehydration. Cremation for the body is scheduled for April thirtieth, and decontamination of the chamber is ongoing.